Hey there, Katie Joy, the Global Butterfly. And in this week's podcast video, I'm going to share with you a big idea. Are you ready? What if you created wellness days instead of waiting to be so burned out, tired and exhausted and exhausted and taking sick days? So being an entrepreneur, it's even more the reason why you need to make sure that you are scheduling regular time for health and well-being. And the idea of having even a whole day or a half day even if you have to work up to that, is a really great idea to inc include as one of your daily habits, especially if you are an entrepreneur or you know in your mind that you have a calling to build your side business or step away from a job, corporate or any other, that you too would like to be able to have your own independent freedom designing your life and living your dreams. Well, this idea has really been pressing hard on my mind for a very, very long time. And I've always been very much an advocate for creating self-care moments every single day as much as possible. The challenge is most of us are conditioned to, you know, most, most of us start off in a job. I know I did. I used to be a paramedic. But I always had the entrepreneur, sorry, entrepreneurial mind and while I've being an entrepreneur, that can actually bring on even more commitment, more to-do lists, more dedication to what you're creating and building and kind of lacking the prioritization of taking care of yourself or taking some time off. So being an entrepreneur, it's even more the reason why you need to make sure that you are scheduling regular time for health and well-being. And the idea of having even a whole day or a half day, even if you have to work up to that, is a really great idea to inc include as one of your daily habits, especially if you are an entrepreneur or you know in your mind that you have a calling to build your side business or step away from a job, corporate or any other, that you too would like to be able to have your own independent freedom designing your life and living your dreams. But that's going to require you to really manage yourself with some self-direction, some leadership, and being really clear about what you're scheduling into your daily timetable as well as on a weekly basis. These days, stress is an ever rising phenomenon. It's probably the number one killer as well. And unfortunately, so many people are experiencing the shifts of uncertainty, loss of jobs or, or impacts in their businesses, or some people are actually having even great results, but working so hard that they're forgetting to actually have that balance of self-care as well. Now, I know personally the impact of not taking care of myself, doing too much and experiencing that overwhelm, that burnout, that exhaustion, even chronic fatigue. And it's not pleasant. It's not a fun place to be. And it can take a lot longer to recover. And all that lost time and energy, is it comes at the cost of building a business. It comes at the cost of spending time with your family and doing the other things that you really enjoy. I mean, even exercising becomes a, a feat in itself and, you know, almost impossible if you're exhausted. <laughs> and I know all about that, right? So this idea that I want to share with you is something that's really important. I want to impregnate your mind and hopefully you actually put it into your schedule that you start with even like some small pockets of time every single day that you intentionally create as self-care moments for yourself. Really be present with yourself for health and well-being, doing some stuff that really fills you up with joy. It leads you to feeling more fulfilled and having more meaning in your life. And you've got that time and space to really consider what am I designing for my life? What's next? What am I creating? What am I recreating? How am I going to do things different? So you can be more relaxed and centered. Now, I can hear many of you say, hey, but Katie, I'm probably working two jobs or I, I've got the family and the, and, the, and the home to run and I'm building a business. I don't have time to stop. I get you. I get you. And now listen, I've got a full blog article extensively written on this whole piece. So if you want to catch the whole article, I'll leave the link for you down below. But I just want to share with you a little bit about my background. Before I became an online entrepreneur, I was a full-time paramedic for St. John Ambulance in Western Australia. 
And during that eight years that I worked for St. John's, two of those years I worked up in Headland, Port Headland, and it was intense. It was like working 10 years for the amount of work that we did. We often sometimes work 96 hours in an eight day week. And I didn't have a lot of time off. If we didn't have volunteers available for us at the time when I was working there, there was four paid paramedics and then we had volunteers. And if the volunteers weren't available, then if you were on your, you know, not on your primary shift and you're on your secondary shift, you're on standby, well, you had to work. You had to be available if we got called out and sometimes that we were on the road consistently for 26 hours straight at a time. I know, it's nuts, it's insane. And ultimately, you know, because there was no real course correction at the time, it's what led me to making some decisions that were better for my health and well-being to leave my career as a paramedic. But I love what I do now. Now, before I left my career as a paramedic, I knew that in order for me to buy back some of my time, I was making choices that were using my money that I was earning as a paramedic and investing into properties that would then be assets and paying me money while I sleep. I also used my time that I did have in the pockets in between to build my first online business, which was I self-published a cookbook, a gluten-free cookbook, and then I also did an online blog. And with that, it developed the skill set and some income that came with it but it was really more the learning ground for me for what came next. So after I left my career as a paramedic and I took some time off before, before I rebuilt my business online as a coach and a healer. But what I did first is I invested in myself first with that education, building a whole lot of uh, repertoires around business and marketing and healing modalities. Uh, gosh, <laughs> everything and anything around the wheel of life that you could imagine, lots of personal development. And throughout that process, what I started to do was build an online space again. And then I'm going to fast track you for a while because I got pregnant. And as a single mom, that going through that journey, building a business, having a baby and a baby who was quite sick in his first year, year and a half, that was a very challenging time for me. And it really took four and a half years before I even had any regular sleep. That's nuts. And so there were a lot of times when I would just use the pockets of my time and I'd get really creative in how I could actually get some time back. So I'd do things like <laughs> with my gym membership, instead of walking on the treadmill, I put my child into a crèche at the gym and then I would go and find a corner with a mat, put my headset on and listen to a meditation while I curled up and had a sleep for 90 minutes to two hours. And I'd set my alarm to wake me up. <laughs> Right. And that sometimes like that's how I caught up on some sleep and some self-care. Otherwise, I'd lose it. I was so exhausted. Um, I got creative. I didn't want to have a babysitter or, or didn't want to spend the money at the time either on having someone who would just do full care. But I got creative and, and invited a overseas student who was learning English to be a mother's helper. And so they were there with me so I could have a sleep while my child was being cared for, his needs being met. And it didn't cost me a super fortune. And it was something that helped me buy back some of my energy before I even had some of my extra time. So there would be things like I would just even have pockets of time of just doing some tending to my garden and doing some cooking or looking after myself with, with quality food and seasonal food, organic food really, really doing what I can in just those pockets and even just the occasional bubble bath and a glass of bubbles that would go with it. That really did help sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just sharing with you that if you're in a place where you're saying, Katie, I don't have a lot of time. I'm either doing all these extra jobs or I've got all these responsibilities. I'm inviting you that it starts with a mind shift first. And once you do that, you actually dedicate your attention to looking for creative ways to make it happen. And although it might not, it will not happen overnight, you know, creating a whole shift in designing your life, living your dreams really on your own terms, it will take some time. And, and that time is going to be based on your skill set, your dedication, your focus, what you're committed to. And then as you like for me, for example, I built an online business with healing and coaching, showing other people how to transform their life, having building up the resilient skills, having the healing skills activating the manifesting skills and by doing that building those courses online I stopped trading my time for money with one-on-one -on -one calls 
and one-on-one -on -one swapping my time for money. I, I'm, when I left my career as a paramedic, I vowed I was unemployable for life and that I'd always figure it out how I was going to add value to the world and do it in a way that I'd get paid again and again and again and again, or at least highly leveraged. So if I'm going to put my energy into training, for example, when I do my live group courses, it's mostly leveraged or automated, but my time goes one to many over a six week period for that course, maybe for a couple of hours in the week. So that's a big difference versus working 20, 40 or 60 hours a week or sometimes 96, right? So I'm hoping to inspire you because you can't wait until you get there to have those days off or the time off. Getting Having the time off is the pathway to getting there. So I'm going to leave the link for the blog for you to be able to go and get even more information on this so that you can actually go and implement it into your life as well. And I really hope that this idea really excites you and inspires you. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are you going to implement in your life on a weekly basis, even a daily basis, on creating wellness time for you so that you're balanced in your health and well-being, that you feel energized, you feel inspired, and that you are more magnetic about creating what you want to create in life. And therefore, you're going to take more action aligned with your goals, with what's most important for you, because you will feel good. When you feel good, you do great things. And when you do great things, life gets rich and juicy. So love light and manifesting lots of magic, miracles and more. And I'll see you in the next episode.